Hey everybody, it's Mr. Chambers here. I just wanted to show you how to use PickMonkey.com. All you do is click on the big square here. It'll open up a folder for you. Um, double click on that and it'll upload it. The picture shows up. First thing I'm going to do is crop it. And you can see I have crop lines in here. So I'm just going to click on this. And I'm going to drag these crop lines right inside my corners here. There, have the other corner right in there. Okay, I think I'm good to go. Once I'm ready with that, then I apply. I'm going to rotate it, turn it left. That looks good. Apply. Um, and by the way, if you did have to straighten it out, let's say your picture is crooked, that's how you can do it. Um, and then I'm going to hit exposure. Leave the brightness um, scale alone, just adjust your highlights. And I like to use the arrow keys on my keyboard. Give me a little bit more control. You want to go just so it looks good. Obviously, if you go too far, it washes out everything. And so, um, I'm going to adjust so it's pleasant. If you have white paper, your white paper should look white. The shadows on mine are fine. I don't want to go any darker than that. Contrast is fine, obviously, if I go with that. Or too much, so I'm going to slide that back down to zero. Hit apply. Right now, mine has a little bit of a blue cast to it, so I'm going to slide this um, temperature. If you go to the left, it's very, it gets more blue. If you go to the right, it gets more warm. So zero is where it's at now, and I'm going to go up probably to about, I think, five is good for me. Now, one thing, if you guys are doing a pencil or charcoal drawing, and your pencil, your drawing is supposed to be black and white, um, you obviously don't want to cast to it. So what you're going to do is take the slider and the saturation thing and slide it all the way to the left. Okay. In this case, this is color, so I'm going to slide it back there. And leave that at zero. Hit apply. I'm ready to go. So next thing I'm going to do is hit save. And I'm going to rename this. It's and so for class, I'm going to put my first name, hyphen, last name, comma, and then AS for assignment, and we call this assignment 1. Um, next thing you want to do is make sure that your quality is at 10. You don't want it any less than that because it reduces the um, detail that I will show in class. Hit Save Photo, and then you're going to have a, a screen show up where you can name it something. I'm going to call it AS1. And in this case, I'm going to call this one AS2 since I already have an AS1 in there. There you go. Hit save. And that's it. You're done. Have fun. Just take the, find that assignment for your class and turn it in. Thanks.